Well, and I think Griffin is a bit more comfortable with being aggressive on this map. Um, unlike DM6, where Relic had no problem being aggressive when he needed to be, uh, he's been a little bit more cautious, and I think Griffin has capitalized off of that quite a bit. Actually, it's, it's been some hesitation as far as where Griffin's going to be. I mean, just like that Mega Play that we saw, I think the fact that that jump failed is mm. a clue in to the fact that he wasn't quite prepared to do that as he was entering the room. It was kind of off the cuff. Great initial rocks there by Relic. Oh, for the defensive rail and rocket for, for nice Griffin. Rail. I mean, you know, See, this Griffin... Is, this is what I've seen like four or five times in this map. I have seen Griffin taking a lot of damage, Relic going, ooh, 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 a frag. Griffin uh -huh. ducking away and just landing every fadeaway shot as he yeah. leaves. I mean, yeah. every single one. But Relic does pick up a fourth. Well, it's crunch time. Still within five. Yeah, nine to four it's and crunch time. less than two minutes to go. This is it right here for all the kittens. Chilling at lunch time, some... killing at crunch time, and it's crunch time. Mega goes to Griffin. <laughs> Relic? I don't know, I mean, this is sort of an obvious thing. Uh, he's actually really lucky to get that red. Oh, well, look at those rockets. Oh, my oh, goodness. Messy. Yeah. Relic uh, <laughs> took some flying lessons there from Griffin, and unfortunately <laughs> ended in a crash and burn. Didn't take landing lessons. <laughs> yeah. Landing? Landing? I usually just blow people up. <laughs> well, here we are entering the last minute now, and really, I'm not going to call this yet. This six frags can happen uh, kind of no. quickly here, not, but not against Griffin, I think though. within the next no, five no. seconds. No, yeah. okay, never mind. Which, which is a I real shame, but... Uh, oh God, the rockets are just insane from Griffin. I'm loving it. And dunk, I have to say... Dunk, dunk. Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic match between these two guys. It's very close. I mean, it was it was within four frags for most of it, I would say. And it really was only towards the uh, last couple of minutes where things widened up to six. And I think they they might even stay this way because Griffin's just being uh, uh, very defensive and just running away. Um, well, you fantastic match. Let's, let's take Relic a look at Actors real quick. These frags. 39% rail. Relic's been rail. wanting these frags to happen, but Griffin is just, you know, he's using these teleporters, he's using the corners, and the, it's almost uncanny how many of these fadeaway shots that he's hitting. He's just, you know, ducking out, hitting the last of that, and there we go, 10 to 4, Relic Rage disconnecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was uh, fast. We'll see if we could get him in for post game, but no dice. Yeah, that's okay. I mean... These guys are probably both really tired, as tired as we are. But um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, that was a fantastic match. And, um, yeah, it was uh, everything I hoped for. <laughs> um, yeah, Relic and Griffin finally seen for Intel Extreme Masters. Um, this was Play Day 1, but, of course, we're actually technically in the Play Day 3, I think. At the very least, we're going to be broadcasting a whole lot of stuff uh, coming up on um, Wednesday, we have we're, we're trying to organize at least two matches. Great night of coverage, and uh, really those last matches were just absolutely worth it. I'm glad we stuck it out, and it was just a series of strange events that got us here. But I'm glad we covered it. It was awesome.